It's my birthday today. Well, technically, as this is posted, it's going to be on my birthday. But I'm not recording this on my birthday because uh, I'm out enjoying myself. But it's my birthday today. I turned 34. Doesn't feel like I'm 34. I still feel like I'm a 20-year-old. But it's a... Uh, I'm calling this the year of the phoenix. Why the phoenix? Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the mythology of the phoenix... It's basically a mythological bird, and this bird burns brightly, beautifully, like the sun. Uh, and with time, it's an immortal bird, and with time, it dies. The flames go out, and then it is reborn. And as I look back over the last few years, I had my bright moments. I had moments that I shone really bright. Everything was working out, almost everything. You know, life isn't perfect, but for the most part, you know, when I would sit and I would look at my life, I'd be like, oh, like, I'm okay. Like, I think I, I made it further than anyone in my family um, outside of my, my, my father, but like, I've made it way further than anyone else financially, relationship-wise. I made it. And then 2023 hits. In 2023, the beginning of the year was when the flames really started going out. Well, it started really at the end of 2022, where things started really to de-escalate. You know, it's like I hit this, like beginning of 2022. And then like summertime was when things started to really start going like that. And as the year has progressed and my little bird went out and it stayed dead for a while, and then sometime in August, the light started to come back. And we're in December and the light, it's not quite there yet, but it's burning. There's embers. One of my favorite albums, or at least artists who created a trilogy album over the last like seven years, his name is Elenium. He's a, a house DJ, you can say. Um, and what I love about his music is how much, how much of his story is embedded in the music. He has these uh these three albums, and if you look at each cover, it's literally the Phoenix. And his first album is called, I believe it's called Embers. I forget what his second album is called. And I forget actually forget what his third album is called, but it's easy to just go on Spotify and search it. But each uh each like album cover showcases, you know, Ember, then it's like a, a baby birdie with, with some fire. And then his last album was the full fledged Phoenix in all its glory. And I know he's making a fourth album, but uh, uh, I don't know what that story is going to look like. And I followed his stuff for years um, because I felt so close to the music he was making and he has these beautiful voc vocalists who come in and just the beats and everything just works right you know all the instruments that he uses and i feel so closely aligned with that music because of the stories it has told over the course of my last seven years i've had my phoenix burn out you know in 2016 to 2017 then it started rising again from 2017 to 2022. And now I'm in that cycle all over again. And it's funny because I remember one of my mentors once telling me that life has seasons. And within those seasons, you experience from winter to winter, right? You get winter, spring, summer, fall. And apparently that cycle happens every seven years. So it's my time. My time has come. 
but I'm grateful because the last few years has shown me a lot. It's, it's as if the veil was lifted out, you know, of society, of all this. I used to be very optimistic and now I've become more of an optimist, optimistic realist, more realist than optimistic. But the pandemic really showed case that it really showcases your really close friendships, those that would pretty much, you know, go to war with you. They're the ones you call at 2 a.m. when things are hard. I'm lucky to have friends like that. It also showed me the beauty and and how people come together to support not everyone, but you'd be surprised <laughs> on who comes to support you when you're down in the dumps and you're not doing too well. And that's what I, I got to experience this year. And finding God, 30, 33, I found God. Like, it's been following me for years as I look back and I look at the books that I've read and the people I listen to and, and just little, like, taps. You can say I call them little tap, like, universal God tapping you. Be like, hey, I'm here. Don't forget, I'm here. Uh, whether it was through a brook through a uh, podcast I was listening to, through my own friends who found God themselves before I did, the recommendations through, like, random recommendations through Amazon when I'm looking at books or, like, people that I listen to and they recommend a book, and then I read the book and I realize the person is, you know, they worship God and they utilize verses from the Bible, and I'm like, oh, like, this is following me. <laughs> And I have to lean in. And usually, most people find God when they're in the darkest time. And 33 was one of my darkest years. Um, outside of 2016, when I was 26, it was a dark year as well. And now I get to move forward. You know, I didn't hit goals that I wanted to hit this year. And I, I completely take fault of that. One of those was this YouTube channel hitting 1,000 subscribers before year-end. I didn't get to hit that. And that's okay. You know? That's okay. Things, one of my biggest lessons is that things take longer than you think. It's rare when it happens faster than you think. Very rare. But I'm here. I'm alive. I'm lucky to live in America. It's not perfect, not perfect at all. Trust me, I hate I hate some aspects of the country, but not hate. That's a strong word. Dislike, but we're still more free than a lot of parts of the other of the world, and there's a lot of support here when you're going through a tough time. So. I get to experience his birthday. I get to experience 34 as being completely different than 33. And I get to illuminate. And hopefully, with these videos, I'm illuminating. I'm being in service. I'm shining my light and my warmth to others that may be in the cold depths of the darkness. Because I've been there. And I'm excited for what 2024 may bring. New chapter. Lots of YouTube videos. I'm still going no matter what. I didn't hit my goal, and that's fine. I was just, I'm just pushing it off a little bit longer, learning from the experience, which is what the 60-day challenge is all about. A lot of these videos are not hitting. They're just not doing well, and that's okay. There's not no fancy editing or anything. I'm, it's just a guy sitting here talking, and that's fine because as long as I'm illuminated, I'm finding the right people. I see y'all, the ones that comment, view, you know, I get messages every now and again. I haven't gotten one in a while, but messages every now and again from people being like, thank you for that. It's, what, it's my fuel. It's what keeps me going. So happy birthday to me. And I hope you enjoy your new year. And I'm still making videos every day. So until tomorrow.